he goes to the hair and he goes to touch it and no lie a clump comes off on his hand hey guys so look let's be serious okay um i'm gonna sit here and say when I'm gonna sit here and say a bunch of things, but I'm just not going to. I tried to record three times already about my cosmetology school experience, and honestly, it's just, it's not doing it for me. It's just not. So I just scratched that idea because it's just not vibing right now. So we're just gonna snatch that idea out the way, throw it away. Forget I even said I was gonna do that video, okay? I'm not. I lied so bad. I'm not doing it. So. If you can't tell my frustration, yeah. So instead of telling you about my cosmetology school experience, instead of telling you a horror story about a client, let's let's be real. Let's talk. And this side of my hair, look, I already have like three bobby pins. And these pieces of hair just keep sticking out. So we're just going to... Mm, that that's what I'm feeling today so like trying to record this video because today was actually a really good day so I don't know what's wrong with me but anyway let's let's get started so instead of me talking about a crazy client story time I was thinking and I was like you know what I should tell it myself I should spill the tea and I should you know really just put myself on blast because I'd be doing it to other people so let me do it to myself and talk about the time I was that person's horror salon everything okay so I'm really going to spill the beans on myself I'm gonna tell on myself and when I tell you I'm gonna be a hundred and thousand percent honest I'm gonna be a hundred and thousand percent honest okay so let's get into it now so sorry like i don't know if this girl watches my videos i don't but i'm really sorry like to this day i think about it but sorry so anyway let's get into it so let's go back in time to when i first started in a salon now, like I've said in many other story times, I was taking models. Now, a lot of models were a lot of people that I went to school with because I would advertise it on my Facebook, I would advertise it on my Instagram, Snapchats, and I obviously had people that I went to school with. So a lot of people would hit me up. I'm gonna call this girl Bella. So me and Bella, we knew each other since like middle school, but we were never friends. Like, I don't know. Me and Bella, like, we just didn't vibe like that. I don't, it wasn't, it's just one of those things where it's just like you, we just were never friends, right? So she had hit me up, surprisingly. She was like, hey, I would like to do your, or I would like to know if you could do my hair, blah, 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 whatever. Honestly, I can't remember if I did her mom's hair first. I think I did her mom's hair first and then I did her hair. So I think she hit me up about doing her mom's hair and then her mom's, I, it was just basic color or whatever. And then she, she came in to do her hair. Now, mind you, her mom was a hairstylist and she had always, ever since I knew her, she had always had like really pretty hair. Like her mom always did her hair. Her mom did other people's hair in the school too. So I was just always like, I just always knew her from that, but we'll get into it. So this girl, Bella, she was like, hey, um, I want to get my hair done, blah, blah, blah. And at this time, I was running a special and I was just doing color, any kind of color for $50. So she hits me up. She was like, hey, I want to come in. I kind of want to do a color, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, okay, cool. Come in. Let's do it. So Bella comes in. And this is so embarrassing to talk about. Like, I'm so embarrassed. I don't even know why I'm telling people this story. So, Bella comes in. She sits down in my chair. And she's going to know exactly. If she does one of my videos, she's going to know exactly what I'm talking about. She's going to know it's her. Because whatever. So, she sits down. And I was like, okay, so what are we thinking about doing today? And she was like, so I really want to do, like, a J-Lo blonde. So, the J-Lo blonde was pretty much, like, 
blonde highlights with honey blonde in between. Mind you, this girl's hair was black. Like black box dyed black. Her hair was black. So I looked at that picture and I was just like, ooh, like girl. Mind you, she had really, really thick, like long-ish black hair. So I was just like, oh, whoa, 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 ma'am. Like this is way out there compared to what I thought we were gonna do today. So I was just like, well, what I can do is I can just do like a full head of highlights and I can brighten you up like that way. And then we can gradually like go into like that color because it was just going to be too much. Like that was not an easy process. I don't know why I said yes. I don't even know why I even gave her the inkling that it was going to be, you know, a thing. I bit off way more than I could chew. So I just, I was like, okay, so instead of that, like it's not gonna come out exactly like that, I can do just like a full head of highlights and that's just gonna start like the process. So I don't know what I was talking about because thinking, I, I literally had no clue what I was talking about. I don't know why I told her I was gonna do a full head of highlights. I don't know what I was thinking. But I go to the back and I'm just looking at the developers. There's five volume, 10 volume, 20, 30, and 40. And I'm looking at this and I had did my mom's hair previous to this girl, Bella. And I used 30 volume on my mom's hair and it lifted out all the color that my mom already had in her hair. So I was like, okay, so this girl has really thick, coarse hair and she has box dye on it so let me just use 30 just so you know all I know all the hairstylists are trembling when I said that I'm doing a full foil on thick dark hair that has box dye and I decided I made the executive decision to start her highlights with 30 volume if you don't know hair if you have no idea what I meant that's stupid okay that is probably the stupidest thing you could ever do I don't know why I did that so, but whatever, like I said, I made the executive decision that I did it on my mom's hair. So that's what I'm going to do. Mind you, I didn't do a full foil on my mom's hair. I did something else, but I just, 30 volume broke up all that color that my mom had. So in my head, it made sense to just use 30 volume. Okay. Mind you, not taking into consideration that I'm new to this, that I'm going to take 10 years to do foils because I'm new and I'm going to take an extra 10 years because she has a lot of hair. But, you know, I take that I take the the 30 volume, I put it in the powder, we mix it up, we're cooking it up. I go out and me and her are just talking, we're just, you know, doing it. And mind you, I'm taking section per section i'm taking the tiniest sections and i am foiling and foiling like i said i was new to this okay so obviously i foiled before but i wasn't fast with it so i'm trying to get her as light as possible while also trying to cover as much hair as i can so i'm just packing in the foils packing in the foils packing in the foils I put so much because I wanted to make sure that her hair was coated and saturated and I was just putting back to back to back to back to back foils. Y'all, her hair was covered in foils and I made those foils so tight and compact, okay? Here's a lesson for bleach developer and things. When you're doing a full head of highlights, you definitely need to start with five, then work your way forward and use higher developers so it balances out. I did not do that, okay? You don't need to put so much bleach in a foil because when you do that, 
Bleach expands. It's a chemical reaction. Bleach alone expands and it'll make the foil get bigger. The head is hot. You fold in a foil close to somebody's head, bleach and heat expands and spreads. Can we see where this is going? Can we see where this is? This is gonna end, yeah. So I'm in the middle of doing the front section. So I split her hair in four sections. So I'm in the middle of doing this front section. I still had one more section to go. And I was like, let me check the back. I literally check, like I just turn her and I see bleach. Like it kind of foams up. It's like coming out of the foils and onto her neck. And I was like, okay, so that's not good, okay? So I stopped doing that section and I was like, okay, so it looks like the back, I'm trying to like make sure everything is just so peachy keen so i was like okay it looks like the back is like processing a little bit faster so i'm just gonna go ahead and take out these foils y'all do you know how long it had to sit for being in the back all the way up with all her hair to me being in this front section it was sitting on there for a minute because I was taking my sweet time I was talking I was just doing way too much way too much and actually even one of the stylists one of the master stylists was like you're doing a whole lot of talking for somebody doing foils they were so rude to me but she said that and so I was just like what whatever so when I check I take a towel and I take a spray bottle and I'm like spraying down the hair and I'm just rubbing it do you know when I pulled the foil, the hair came with it? And I was like, okay, okay, let's freak out. Let's freak out. So I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, like, this girl's hair is fried, like bad. So I start freaking out internally, of course, because I wasn't showing this to her. So I just start pulling all the foils out. I started taking all of them. I was like, and I was just like, oh, wow, like your hair lifted really fast. Like the back is already ready. So I'm just taking her hair out of the foils, taking her hair out of these foils. Now I'm getting to the midsection of her hair it starts being that gummy white before it just completely falls out that like gummy gummy feeling right so i was just pulling her foils out her hair is just bouncing back like the this this bottom part was just botched then the middle part was gummy and i was just like oh my god then the top is orange so she has white burnt off hair she has yellow gummy hair and she has orange regular hair okay mind you this section is still not even done so i was freaking out so i was like i'm gonna go ahead so i we don't over process the back being such a liar yeah i know i'm telling you this is not a good video for me this is like literally making myself look so bad but i was a beginner okay so i was just like i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and go to the shampoo bowl and i'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this part out just so it doesn't over process lies lies told from my mouth okay because her hair was already forget over processed your hair is just done so i was like oh my god i'm freaking out at this point i'm taking these foils out i'm putting water i'm trying to get all this water out i'm feeling her hair just come off her head and i'm just like oh 
my god i'm ruining this girl's hair and not only am i ruining this girl's hair this isn't even a stranger this is somebody i know so i was just like oh my god oh my god she's being mad chill like she's always been quiet but like she's just so quiet she's not saying a word she's not saying anything she's just, just chilling really and i'm just freaking out so i go to the back and i tell one of the stylists i was like hey like i really messed up her hair like i really really messed up her hair now i am serious this is where i'm telling all myself that i'm freaking out because you know this is my fault this is the first time i've ever had somebody's hair like fall off so i was just like i don't know if she has something in her hair like i don't know and they were like well what developer did you use i lied i did i said i used five i didn't i used 30 because i'm a liar and i'm dumb and i just i felt like such a little kid i was just like oh i don't know what happened like i don't know what's happening blah 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 and i'm just telling him and he's like okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put a treatment in her hair and in her toner so that way we can just salvage what she has let me go see it i don't know what he was expecting but i definitely think it was a lot worse than what he was expecting so he goes to her hair and I don't know if you guys have ever felt like really gummy, stringy hair. It's gross and it's just really hard to handle. It gets tangled very easily and it's just like a rubber band. It just goes back and forth. It's like gum. Like it's just awful. So he goes to the hair and he goes to touch it and no lie, a clump comes off on his hands and he was like okay he was like all right so this is what we're gonna do with the toner he's trying to like cover it up too he's like this is what we're gonna do for the toner da -da 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 -da. he's talking about a toner and i'm just looking at it the lady that was shampooing somebody else was looking at it and she was just like I was almost about to cry. I was so done because I was like, this is awful. Mind you, I still have to highlight this part of her hair. So I was just like, oh my God. Like, do you know what this man did? He takes that clump that was in his hand and he throws it up at the roof. And he was like, oh my God, al dente. I was like, I'm literally on the brink of tears and this man is throwing the clump of her hair on the roof and he's over here trying to make a joke talking about it's al dente. I was like, oh my God. So I was like, all right, girl. So I'm just, I rinsed it out. I put so much conditioner in her hair. I put all this conditioner, but like, honestly, that's like trying to put an oxygen tank on a dead person. It's not going anywhere. It's not doing anything. Like, so I go ahead and I take her back to the chair. So I was like, I'm just going to detangle your hair before, like, I go back to the foil. So I turn her away from the mirror and I'm brushing her hair and brushing her hair. And it was all in the comb. And literally the biggest chunk, I was wearing boots. I will never forget that. I was wearing boots. The biggest chunk of hair fell on my boot. And I was trying to like play this off like nothing, yo. I was really trying to play this off like nothing ever happened. And it like, you heard it. And she like looks down and then she looks in the mirror. And then I was just like, Oh, yeah, sometimes that happens. Like, an idiot. Like, such an idiot, yo. Like, I'm over here, like, some, sometimes that happens. No, it doesn't. That's not a thing. Like, oh, my God. And so she's like, okay. I'm trying. So I put a towel because her hair is falling out at this point. Like, it's just every time I brushed it, like, more of it fell on the floor. And I'm trying to get her to keep her head straight so that she's not looking in the mirror or on the floor. So I literally throw a towel and I take my shoe on top of the towel to pick up the hair that was falling on the floor so she couldn't see it. I'm pretty sure she peeped it, though. But she was really chill. She didn't say anything. 
And so I'm just like doing all that. I'm taking all this, like I'm trying to brush out her hair. And so I just put the conditioner, I wrapped it up and I just clipped it to the back. And I just finished the front of her hair. Mind you, I'm still freaking out. So I'm being really, really careful with the front. I'm just going crazy. It was, it was awful. So then I take her back to the bowl. It's time to tone her. The front was just like a regular like orangey yellow. It was like the lightest orange yellow which i mean she knew that because she had like she knew that she wasn't gonna get like some bright blonde right so she was okay with that but i'm pretty sure she was okay with her hair being a little yellow orangey like darker than what she thought like but i'm pretty sure she wasn't okay with her hair being fall or what is it what her hair being you know fried off so I was just like, oh my God, like I just ruined this girl's hair. Like there is no coming back from this. I ruined this girl's hair. So I'm just like doing the toner and I'm asking like all these other stylists what to do or whatever. I put this toner on her hair. And if you know anything about toners, the more porous your hair, the faster it will develop. Her hair, I put the toner on her hair. It was a nice little caramel color up here. It was purple back here because her hair was white and fried. So it instantly turned purple back here. And I was just, I wanted to cry. And I was like, I'm going to cry for this girl. Like, this is awful, awful what I did to her hair. So she wanted her hair, she had curly hair, so she wanted it because everybody wanted my blow dries, my famous blow dries. Like I, I did it with the blow dries, like. So she wanted her hair blow dried. And I was, she didn't want a haircut though. She didn't want a haircut, but she wanted a blow dry and her hair straightened. When I'm straightening, first of all, when I'm blow drying her hair, I'm seeing all the parts that I broke off. I'm like, yeah, she's going to feel that. Like, it's going to be rough. Then you could see, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. It was highlights, right? You could see where the hair broke off. So her hair was black with highlights. And in the black hair, you could see the different spots that the highlights broke off. It was so ugly and so awful. And she didn't say anything. Like, she just wanted her hair straight. And I was just focusing more so on the, the front area. And I was showing her, like, because the highlights were blended. They were just... The top was fine. It was the middle, the back, and the bottom, or lack thereof, honestly, because most of it was on the floor. So I, she just, you know, whatever. She didn't say anything. I don't know if she noticed it. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but she took it. She didn't say anything about it, and she just went about her day, you know? She left. It was cool. It was chilling. I was like... And I even told her because I was like, you know, because you have a lot of hair, I'm going to have to charge you 100 just for the product and not the 50 girl. I charged her the 50 and I was like, I'm surprised she didn't ask me why. Well, I'm pretty sure she peeped it. Like, so it was really originally 100. Then I just charged her 50 just for the product. And so she leaves or whatever. So mind you, I still have her on Snapchat. I still have her on uh, Instagram, still have her on Facebook. So then like a week later, she is on, <laughs> she's on Snapchat and she has that JLo blonde that she asked me for that I didn't give her. I gave her hair on the floor. Like, yeah. 
So I was like, I saw that on uh, Snapchat and I was like, I messaged her, not even trying to be shady, but I was like, oh, I'm so happy. Like you got your hair to that color that you wanted, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, yeah, you did a good job. Like you really helped made it easier for me to get it like this. And I'm like, girl, you are so lying. Like I know you are lying. Fast forward. <laughs> So fast forward, I think it might have been like a year or like a, a long amount of months that had gone by. It wasn't like too long, but it was like a minute. And she puts this long thing on Snapchat and because she had got her hair like completely blonde out and it was like really pretty or whatever. But she had put on Snapchat. She was like, oh my God, this is the first time that a stylist, like I've actually been happy with like the stylist and how they did my hair. Like I've been through so much. Like my hair was so damaged and so bad. And she was just going in saying how like this stylist really did their thing because she had just had horrible experiences. And I'm just like, girl, I know you're talking about me. Like I know it. I'm not even mad at it because you didn't even have to be as nice as you were and as chill as you were with me. But that was, and I'm just like, I'm pretty sure her mom did the J-Lo blonde that she had the second time she got her hair done. And I was like, I know they were talking so bad about me. Like, cause I really, I really did mess up her hair. That was, and to this day, I'm not even joking to this day, I still feel bad about it. Like, I just don't even, like, I used to comment sometimes on her stuff. And I'm just like, you know what, let me just not. Because I know, like, we weren't even, like, friends like that before. But, yeah, we're really not friends like that now. <laughs> Boy, did I, yeah. So, you know, nobody's perfect. These experiences are how we all learn, how we all grow and thrive. Um, I never made that mistake ever again. I after that, I never, um, I never burned somebody's hair off. I never overprocessed their hair. I just, I'm a very conservative person when it comes to dyeing people's hair, bleaching, cutting for that exact reason because I literally made this girl's hair al dente as my coworker would say as her hair stuck to the ceiling. So <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Um, and yeah, if your hairstylist is out here doing the most, turning you away from the mirror, look at the floor, okay? So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I already said all that. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.